Welcome to Kensington Podiatry at the Smart Colours. My name is Anna Razak. Today I'm here to talk to you about bunions. Very exciting topic, bunions, eh? So what are bunions? Bunions are protrusions. They're protrusions of the joint in the big toe. Just this joint right here. Unfortunately, what can happen is the joint can become a little bit prominent. It can become a, bit, a little bit red right at the side here, and it can protrude. And unfortunately, it can be slightly painful, and when you're wearing those lovely shoes, it can look a little bit not nice. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk to you about how we can prevent those problems. But when it's going to be caused by ill-fitting your breath, it can be caused by the way you walk, and unfortunately there's a chance if your parents have them, you can have them as well. So we want to do some preventive prevention exercises to make sure that we prevent the bodies from them and prevent them from actually becoming painful. We don't want to be in those lovely shoes and walking around doing my lovely walks during London and there we go, it becomes painful. How are we going to prevent the bodies from them? So I'm going to show you. A body forms because you get a muscular imbalance. You've got muscles in your foot, you've got muscles on the inner side of the big toe joint and on the outer side of the big toe joint, just where it was going. And you get this muscular imbalance where you get one muscle on one side of the joint becoming really strong and the other side becoming really weak. So it's common that on this side of the joint the muscle becomes quite weak, but on this side of the joint the muscle starts to contract a lot more. And so eventually this toe starts to towards the real toe it starts to deviate. And so what we want to do is we want to release that contracture on this side of the joint and increase the strength of the muscle on that side of the joint. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So how are we going to prevent these bunions? So what we have here, we have this lovely device called the bunion exerciser. Now, in this box, we've got this rubber band. It's a TheraBand. I'm sure you've all heard of a TheraBand theraband that we do for certain exercises in our body. And this is a specific theraband for your bunion. Using this theraband, we're going to do the strengthening exercises that we need to do for the muscle in the inner side of the joint. So my lovely patient here is going to be demonstrating how we do this exercise. So what I want you to do is I want you to place your feet together. You have your joints close together, so both your big toe joints are touching together. You, you take your TheraBand and you place it around one of your big toes and then place it around the other big toe. And the key behind this exercise is to contract the muscle on the inner side of the joint. So what we want to do is we want to, using our big toes, we want to pull apart the rubber band. Nice demonstration there. So we pull apart the rubber band. And when you first start to do this exercise, it actually gets a little bit uncomfortable. So what you want to make, what you can do to make it easier is you want to place your feet about a fist apart and then try that exercise again and just pull away the rubber band using your big toes. And you should start to feel some contraction on the inner side of that joint. You need to hold the big toe joints in that position, and I can I can sense it's a little bit <laughs> a little bit uncomfortable there. But what you want to do is when you first start doing the hold, you want to hold it for about twenty seconds, and try to hold it for about twenty seconds a few times a day. So I recommend about ten times a day. I know we all have busy lives, but as much as we can get those exercises done, the more we can actually prevent those problems. As you start to do them more, you can then increase the hold to about 30 seconds and then eventually pull to bottom. And if you want to be even faster, you can increase the amount of times to do it until about 20 times a day. It's all going to be about those exercises in the So there we have it. Running exercises. Good luck.